Hello everyone, I am Sai Chitanya. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech Guru. In today's video, I'll try to talk about the game space, a uh, new app uh, features after the Realme UI uh, 2.0 update. So recently, friends, I did receive the Realme UI uh, 2.0 update in my Realme X7 Pro device. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned, friends, because I'll be doing in-depth review on this Realme UI 2.0 in terms of uh, going through each and every uh, feature which got added in this particular model. So right now, friends, I did create the playlist only for the Realme UI 2.0 users so make sure to uh, follow that playlist particularly because every day i'll try to uh, inform new tips and tricks lot of uh, features which are related to the realme ui 2.0 uh, features so right now i'll be uh, trying to show you the game space uh, features what got added in this particular mobile phone in the realme x7 pro so let me try to quickly show you friends what are the details so uh, these are about phone details as you can see realme x7 pro and the realme ui 2.0 and the android 11 update so in case if you did not receive the realme ui 2.0 update so don't worry so definitely you will receive as soon as possible friends so right now the update is started to roll out and let me try to quickly open the game space so this is a game space application so let me try to close and open again because you need to know the animation how you are getting so let me try to open again friends the animation is kind of same so right now i try to uh, open again and again but still the animation is not coming but the animation is kind of same like the previously realme ui uh, 1.0 so same kind of animation you are getting and this is a new type of uh, design you, you are getting in the bottom as you can see so in the next video i'll try to compare uh, side by side all the features so this is a very good example where you can see the cpu performance and the gpu performance so you can change the games so depending on the games even the network latency also changing as you can see 30 millisecond and you can see the different different games how they are performing as you can see 30 milliseconds and asphalt 9 and the battery life left is about 3.6 uh, network latency increases to 180 millimeters milliseconds as you can see so these are the few advantages where you can see the clear glance and once uh, another thing is that there is option of the competitive mode and balanced mode so where you can select depending on that the color changes that's a really good uh, useful uh, feature friends so i did like this kind of uh, special effects which got you can see the theme it got changed to complete a uh, blue color and violet color something like that and if you keep the balanced mode it will change to green color you can see how good it is uh, I did really like uh, this kind of visual effects which is going on in this game space particularly. So that's why these are the reason friends or the reason why I'm doing separate video for each and every features is that you need to know A to Z about this uh, all this Realme UI 2.0. I'll try to talk all the negatives and all the positives about this Realme UI. So next is a competitive mode. So if you select the competitive mode, so you can see that it became the red color. As you can clearly see here, so right now it became red. So this is the option of the first uh, layer and next is that automatically adjust the resolution to save the uh, power. So you can enable this option if you want to save some power and brightness lock. You can disable the auto brightness when you are playing that particular game. So uh, quick startup. So quickly launch the games you frequently played as you can see. So if you want, you can enable this option. So each time you exit a frequently game it will be kept running in the background so you can launch it faster next time this will not increase battery consumption some games may stop running in the background if an error occurs so they, if, if you're playing any offline games mainly candy crush or any those kind of games you can just enable this option to keep it as a background running so pubg games and call of duty which uh, definitely it will uh, show an error because if you don't open the game so those games may not work properly so this will be very suitable for the offline games mostly so next is a smart uh, game assistant provides you the suggestions uh, during the help if you want you can enable that so next is a 4d vibrations so this is another vibration where i am trying to wait for a very long time so only few games is actually supported with this kind of uh, vibrations that includes Chinese uh, version of the PUBG game so not the global version of PUBG so Chinese version of the PUBG game is supported so next the voice changer there is an option of voice changer but it's not working at the moment so uh, I think 4D vibration and the voice changer it should be installed in all the global ROMs of the Realme because the MI and the Redmi they did a very good job in terms of customizing the game turbo uh, features which is present in the Poco X3 and other smartphones where there is a, a voice changer option as well but here it's only present in few only Chinese variants so next is the reduced latencies in single sim mode so this is another option where you can enable next is block notifications and reject calls 
auto update or wi-fi so you can these are the few options friends which are, which you got in this uh, complete uh, game space so let me let you go to the in-depth uh, settings so these are the few settings which you have got itself this is an option for the game pad as well so just in case if you are using any kind of game pad so this might give uh, an another clear idea for you so let's see what uh, game pads they are actually mentioning about i think the web page is not working so this type of game pads as you can see and these are the few options where you got and launch the screen animation if you want you can enable that option and let's see the layout what you get the layout so this is uh, another layout where you got so two types of layouts so now it's the time to see uh, another in-depth features about the game space while playing the games so these were the things will get interesting because the game space uh, which we got right now is clearly updated as you can see friends so which is completely updated to new category so i i don't like this kind of update because so the, before it used to be on the top side frankly speaking friends on the top side which where you can completely see the game but it's completely blocking off of the game so which is not at all good so i don't like this kind of complete uh window which is popping up here so which is really irritating for me so these are the same kind of uh, features you are seeing here so nothing much difference got added so apart from that you can change from here the competition and balance and more you have that kind of option to select and there is also an option for the auto play as well so you can screen will be locked and these are the few other options which are present in the same similarly like the previously realme ui versions so overall friends even right now with the new update as well the 120 hertz refresh rate display is not working in the game space so i am still getting only 60 fps this particular game actually supports the 120 hertz refresh rate so i tried to play in the poco x3 it did work properly and game turbo also showed very good in the poco x3 but in the realme phones this is a problem sometimes the fps meter doesn't work properly and it doesn't display exact fps count so right now it's re restricted to 60 fps so let me check whether uh, I, I did not change the setting so maybe i did not change the setting to 120 hertz but let's see friends so if, if i did not change i'll try to change it right now so let me try to change the 120 hertz so 120 hertz has, has been changed successfully so now let's observe what will happen so you can see real time fps i'm still getting only 60 fps you can clearly see so now i'm getting around 70 fps and 50 fps as you can see here friends clearly and 50 fps so overall this processor is really powerful enough to handle the 120 hertz games easily and this is a very very small game i'm not sure why it's not showing properly i did expect even after the realme ui update you won't believe me friend this is the first option which i uh, tried to test because i want to know which games are playing at what type of uh, refresh rate what type of games are supported with the higher refresh rate this is a, this is a test which i want to do but uh, right now I am unable to process because of this uh, error. So that's it friend. This is a quick update on the game space complete in-depth review. And for more videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel friends, I Guru. And don't forget to check the links in description for more details. And uh, see you in the next video friends. Until then, bye.